What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. Hopefully you guys are ready to uh, to get down and dirty here, do some more renovating and uh, we're gonna continue on. So this is actually part two of this home, this like dream build that we're doing for this family. And uh, I mean, you guys might remember, but I'll, I'll do a, a quick little survey here. This is the son's room, he's a big gamer. He's apparently, you know, a pretty big deal. Dad's pretty proud of him. So we hooked him up with a really nice setup. Looks like our monitor got turned. We want to turn that back that way. Got a nice little bedroom set up here. Bathroom is beautiful as well. Absolutely love it. All right, looking good to me. Over here, this is kind of like a, a nook study office type room, library, whatever you want to call it. And then this is our living room. So ton of space, obviously a very modern look that this family is going for. And so uh, we're going to see if we can keep that up. So the next room we're going to be taking a look at is over here in the dining room. So we've got a door adjoining to the kitchen. We've got a slider here, which takes us out to the backyard. Let's uh, let's make this beautiful. So they want us to take out the chandelier, a table, six chairs, a really funky chandelier, and a rug. This is actually gonna be a pretty cool room. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So we're gonna go with black metal, and I'm thinking probably a dark gray, or do we want a white here? I guess the white could be kind of interesting. An extravagant chandelier. So we're gonna want this as close to the middle of the room as possible. I'm thinking something Something like that isn't bad. Is that close enough? Maybe a little bit to the right. I wish there was an option to just do like dead center of the room. I don't think that's that's available though. Let's turn that on. Dude, I mean, this thing is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. All right, so we're gonna throw that there. For the table, we're probably gonna wanna go with black wood. So we're gonna put the black wood table underneath it. Do we want it? We probably actually want this over more to the left. We kind of, we probably do want an open hallway through to the, the backyard. So we're, we're actually gonna put this here and then we're gonna move this chandelier up above the table. How's that? I think that's it. I think that's centered. That looks pretty good to me. All right, we've got it. So next up we're gonna, th oh shoot. We probably should have thrown the rug down first sometimes. No, it's, it's being good to us. I was gonna say, sometimes they're a little bit weird, especially when you get chairs around it, but we're, we're fine there. I'm gonna go dark legs and gray backs or white backs, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm down for the white. I feel like the white looked pretty good. Let's go ahead and, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm not very efficient. We need to hit buy mini instead of buy. That way we can just kind of set these up really, really quickly all, uh, all together. So we're gonna set them up like this, set them up like this. Beautiful work. Be able to put the final one here. All right, there it is. Nice little dining room table. Can we add some flowers? I feel like this room's kind of boring. We got to add a little bit. So I'm just going to put my own little flare in here. We're going to look for decorations. We're going to look for plants. Is this thing too big? Let me see. Oh, yep. That, that's just a little bit too big. What about some, some pink flowers like this? Oh yeah, that is, that is beautiful right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's looking pretty solid. Nice little dining room. Could really use some stuff on the walls. I don't know, these people, they're just a fan of the really bare bones look. The house is, it's, it's for the white walls and everything, it's, it's kind of dark, and they're not white, they're gray, but it's kind of dark. Like, I feel like we need a little bit more lighting in here. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna hook them up. Don't you worry about it. Let me grab, uh, let me grab some lights here. At least, at least add some, some halogens in here, man. Like, seriously, this, this place is, is depressing me a little bit. So I'm gonna throw one there. We can throw one here. Throw one over in this corner. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, and we don't need too many of them. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to really completely perfect it. I just, I, I feel like, I feel like this is a really depressing home if we don't have, have a little bit of lighting throughout. So I'm gonna throw these all the way through. Maybe throw one or two in here. Will kind of make sense. They're not, they're not perfectly arranged and I apologize for that. I'm not gonna take the time, especially when it's not something they actually technically asked for. But there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Like let's, let's make this a little bit happier, a little bit more, more vibey in here. All right, so this room is, uh, it's done. I like it. I think we need some stuff on the walls. We'll see if there's anything left in the budget at the end. Let's see what we've got going on for the kitchen. It seems that all the old heat installation pipes are going through the wall and across the ceiling. One of them breaks and everything is getting flooded. In order to get rid of the wall between the kitchen and the living room, we have to replace this installation. So old girl says, it's gonna be more expensive, but let's install a modern floor heating system and get rid of that wall. The guy says, let's keep the wall as it is and just replace the old pipes. We can save money this way. Now, normally I'm all about saving money, but if you want me to be honest, I feel like this kitchen is gonna, 
it's it's gonna be too small. Like this is a, a really nice open floor plan type house with, with just, you know, tons of space. I mean, you guys can see almost too much space, but it, it's not gonna make sense to have that everywhere else and then have this tiny little kitchen stuffed away. So I'm I'm gonna go with uh, with the old old Jill over here or whatever her name is. Did that just, did that just change? That just changed all the flooring, bro. Oh gosh, dude. Now we're gonna have to go through, we're, we're gonna have to go and, and get the dark mahogany floor tiles and we're gonna have to put this throughout the entire place. Oh man, I, I didn't I didn't realize it, it was gonna need that much of a change, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go through like this. We're gonna go ahead and, and put all of this down. I mean, this to be honest, I kind of I kind of enjoy this. Just kind of putting this all over the place. So let's run this all the way through here. We can probably get it to here. I'm pretty sure it'll warp through walls and go underneath things, but I I like doing it in little segments and feeling like I'm actually actually doing something. Like I'm actually laying laying paneling. Go ahead and put that through there. Looks good. Do this here. Do this part all the way to here. Woo! This is getting expensive. So we've got all that set up. In here, do we want the same stuff? Do we want the same the same flooring? Yep, looks like we want the same flooring. So we're gonna go ahead and do this in our, our sections, just like that. And now it's gonna be time to get to demolition, baby! And we've gotta remove all this stuff. So we're gonna take all of this stuff out. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. I'm gonna get rid of, of every single thing in here. If there's anything we actually need, we'll buy it back later. But this is great. All right, so we've got that. Let me grab our, uh, our sledgehammer. And we are gonna be going to town. Open floor plan. Let's open this bad boy up. Slowly but surely, just swinging the hammer of Thor here. Love to see it. Oh, that is just a meaty, meaty swing. All right, so now we're gonna go for these lintels, just to kind of give you that visual cue that, hey, you're in a different room, even though technically they're all connected and it's, uh, it's all open floor plan. We have some tall ceilings in this house, so this this definitely this definitely works. So we're gonna bring this all the way to here, just like that. And then we're gonna wanna put it here, I believe. Yep, looks good. Go ahead and come across like this. Bam, there it is. And I guess we have a, a few more that we're gonna do here, all the way over to the edge of the wall. Looks like we've got a, a weird stack right here, so let's, let's go ahead and take this down. There it is. And uh, there we have it. We can get rid of this. Anything else we need to clean up? Nope. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. You know, again, it, it, it kind of keeps everything open, open concept, open floor plan, but it also kind of cuts it off and lets you know that you're in a different section of the house. We do have to paint a little bit, natural beige, as well as some white ceramic tiles. Let's get our, our appliances set up first before we get into that. So let's, uh, let's, let's, ooh, kitchen set with oven. This is pretty nice. What do you guys think? Do you like the lighter colors or should we go darker? Stainless steel with the black accents. This is better. Okay. I like that. So we've got that there. We're going to be going with this fridge here. Again, stainless stainless with the black looks pretty nice. That's kind of a, a pretty a pretty dark one. Do we have a better color there? I guess I guess that's not bad. I think I'm going to go with the the white and black there. I don't know. It's it's kind of a hard one, but I, I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go with black on the front and then white on the outsides. We need two of these. So I'm gonna set these down. We're gonna have to figure out this layout, dude. This is not gonna be easy. Oh, we actually, we wanted three of these. Uh-oh, Kitchen Island. The family changed their mind. They prefer a freestanding Kitchen Island instead of a permanent one so they can gain some more space. All right. Uh, so can we, I mean, can we, can we just turn this into the island? Can we do this like this? Just back them up against each other? That's a that's a kitchen island if I've ever seen one. I hate that this black is not showing up as as matching the other things. That's that's straight up black. It looks brown. Like I, I, I chose black. Hold on, let me let me sell this. I'll show you guys. Sell that. Let's grab this again. I mean, is dark, no, dark wood doesn't look good. That's black. It's supposed to be straight up black. Maybe black wood might look a little bit better. The black wood looks better. Interesting. All right, we'll we'll go with black wood instead. Whew! That was gonna drive me crazy because that that didn't that didn't look at all like what it looked like in the picture. So yeah, I think we might be able to might be able to put these in like this. 
and that can be our island. Looks like they want another one of these over here, so we can set this up like so. I don't think we're gonna, be yeah, we can't really move that anymore anymore to the left so this is hanging out in the in front of the door a little bit but i feel like if they if they want an island this is about the best vibe we can give them i just this this thing kind of sticks out a little bit too far but i don't know where else you would put it unless we if we moved this over here if we try to move this here that's not going to work okay so this thing pretty much has to go there I mean, we could move this over here, but then what are you gonna put there? Could center this. I mean, that that doesn't look bad. We could put like a trash or something like that. Do we have, do we have like a trash bin? Yeah, we've got a, a big trash bin, so we could we could kind of throw over here in the corner. I don't know what you would put there. I don't know. What do you guys? I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of this thing because I just I don't I don't feel like it was it was fitting in very well. I feel like the trash actually fits better over here, so I'm gonna put it put it like this. Um, I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like that's a bit nicer. I don't, I don't know. If that would have lined up nicely with the wall, I would have been down for it. But I just, I, I feel like it was, I feel like it was kind of ugly. So now we're going to go for the, uh, the, the white ceramic tiles. Let me go into our tasks here. We're going to want to put down how many of these? Uh, 12. So we're going to need two sets. Let's go ahead and grab one. Let's grab a second one. Switch on over to our tiling and paneling, pick them up, and let's go to work. So I'm, I'm thinking we probably probably put it along this wall. Windows always make things a little bit interesting. They've got lots of little nooks and crannies that you kind of want to hit to make sure that it looks, looks right all the way through. We're going to go through most of these tiles here. Yeah, this kitchen, it's, it's kind of interesting. I don't know that I like these big white tiles, dude. This looks like a, a school floor or something. Like, I kind of like the subways style look or like stuff that has a little bit more more texture to it i feel like these are are fairly fairly simple but i guess that's kind of what this house is you know what i mean like it's it's a very simple open floor plan modern style home so it does it does kind of make some sense that doesn't look bad now that i see it from a distance i actually i i, I quite like that so we've got that now we're gonna want natural beige on the walls so let's go ahead and buy this and uh, I think we're going to be doing the the rest of it, so we can. Oop! Oh shoot! Well, I messed that up a little bit. We're going to be fine. We're just going to have to go back to our tiling and paneling, and fix that up like that. But yeah, this this beige looks looks pretty nice. I like this. So we're going to want at least 30 walls painted with this. Again, just kind of more visual cues that you're you're leaving the rest of the house and you're in the kitchen. Do we want to beige these or keep those white? What do you guys think? This is kind of tough. Would we go like this? Yeah, I'm, let's let's see how this looks when we're done with it. I think I think we might want to go like that, and we might want to do one more. Uh, dude, I I don't I don't know with an open floor plan like this. Like I I have no clue how you treat this. I have no clue where where the paint should start and stop. I guess if it looks if it looks right, we're good. That actually looks pretty good, and I feel like the different color here kind of really separates the two. So I'm I'm down for it. That looks uh, that looks pretty solid. All right. So what else do we want in here? We want a four burner gas stove. Honestly, we should have the stove in the island. is is kind of a cool idea. So I'm gonna keep that there. What else? Do, I don't think we're gonna be able to fit all the stuff they want. They want some some lights here. I like that idea. So let's buy multiple of these. Kind of put one there, one there, and then maybe one at the end is kind of what I'm thinking. That looks pretty good. Last one's a little bit out of whack. They've got short ones, they've got medium ones, and then they've got long ones here, which are all pretty interesting. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm just kind of randomly putting lights all over the place at this point, but it's, it's kind of cool. Where's the light switch for here? Where would you hide a light switch? Oh, I think we, I think we took the light switch off when we knocked down the walls, so we're gonna have to put a, a light switch over here. Modern light switch looks good to me. Bam, look at that. Kitchen's so bright I can see my future, baby. All right, looks good to me, so we've got that there. And then for our last task, I mean, it wants one more of these, which we're not gonna put in. And it wants uh, it wants some, some hanging cabinets. So I just, I, I don't, I don't know that there's going to be a spot for that, if you want me to be completely honest with you. I feel like this is a pretty, a pretty cool kitchen as is. We have a few, a few too many lights. I'm going to take, I'm going to take these guys out. Whew. That is still really bright. 
But yeah, there's the kitchen. I like it. I, I kind of wish they went with a different flooring in here. I feel like having the same flooring is, 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 I don't know. That's just a little bit odd, but we'll, we'll take it. That's done. All right. Over here, this is the laundry room. We doing anything in here? Nothing. Oh, go ahead and close that door. That's the closet. Let's see what's in here. Hello. This is uh, going to be interesting. Let's see what this room is going to be all about. We're going to get rid of the uh, the ceiling lamp here. Going to be going for a double bed, cabinet grinamo, dressing table, Adam chandelier, and an Aoki light colored chair. So let's go ahead and grab the chandelier. I love it, dude. This thing looks fantastic. Try to get this thing centered in the middle of the room. Why do I feel like our guy in this game is so tall? He's just like... His heads and everything, all the toilets and sinks and everything all look so small. That's a pretty dope chandelier though. I like that a lot. Nice and centered. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna look for this bed. I mean, to be honest, adding black wood is about all we're gonna have to do. So I'm thinking we, do we put this kind of lined up like this? Is that what you guys are thinking? It might not fit. If we're trying to do cabinets and stuff in here, we might have to be a little bit smarter with it. I'm gonna go with the, the white dresser. We could put this over here, centered with the wall. Then we're gonna go with a, uh, oh, we want like a little a little makeup thing. Okay. This could probably go over here in this corner. Got a nice little nook for it. We've got this chair here. Can go with the, the white with the gray. Looks good. Throw that in there like that. That's actually not bad. I like that. We gotta, we gotta lay the, the mahogany floor tiles though. Keep this, uh, keep this paint train rolling. So we're gonna throw this stuff through here. I get around the chandelier. My head was hitting the chandelier, bro. That's when you know you're too tall. Put that in there. Put that in there. All right. That's a wrap on that bedroom. Not the most exciting bedroom, but it's a bedroom. Just not not really a lot going on there. I just feel like this doesn't have any... I mean, it's beautiful, but there's, there's no, like, life to it. There's no photos. They added plants or, like, just something to give it a little bit more excitement. I feel like it'd look better. But it's not bad. It's it's one of the, the better ones I think we've done. Whew, this is gonna be interesting. So we are gonna be knocking down some walls in here. Let me grab this sledge and uh, let's get to work. We wanna take these guys down, these lintels here. I feel like this is a, a very, very dated bathroom. That is without a doubt. Got these walls over here. Take these guys down. Get the rest of it, looks good. So we're gonna wanna take out the cabinet with the sink. The, the sconce, the, we're gonna leave the mirror, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna take out the plumbing system. Shannon is the name of the sink that's gonna be going in here, the hanging sink Shannon. So let me see what we've got going on here. Ooh, I like the white. Do we want black, black wood. I like the gray, see I really like the gray. I think we're gonna start with the gray for now, we may have to end up changing it depending on what we have for other decorations and the wall tiles and stuff like that, but I do, I, I really like the gray, so we're just gonna go with this for now. Throw all these guys in here. We've made plenty of sinks in our day at this point. So we're looking, we're looking pretty good. That's nice there. Okay, ceramic tiles white are gonna be going on the floor. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do these while we've got it. Ooh, summer to the kitchen. Just kinda, Kind of big and plain, I'm not gonna lie. So we've got that there. It wants us to paint the walls and stuff, but I'm gonna wait on that. Let's get our shower first. So it's gonna want a shower plumbing system. I'm assuming we're gonna wanna put it somewhere over here. So let's just make a, a placeholder for it and then we'll add the shower afterwards. What kind of a shower are we looking at? The Eli Corner Shower. So we've seen this quite a bit before. Uh, I'm thinking we, we'd line it up with the wall here, just like that. Hopefully we could actually assemble it this time around. This thing's been a little bit weird to us in the past with assembling, at least in the first episode. It looks like, oh, if you put it up against a corner, it works. If you don't have it against the corner, it's not gonna work for you. I guess, I guess that makes sense. Okay, Silver Glacier is gonna be going on the walls. We're also gonna have Amaranth Adventure and gray bubble tiles. So let me get these tiles first. These are actually pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna throw a couple of these down. We need 12 of them at least. So I'm thinking we, we definitely do it inside the shower. That's where you kinda make your money. That's where you really wanna have the, the nice stuff in here. People wanna be able to take a nice shower and have some really interesting walls behind them. So we're definitely gonna, gonna do this shower. 
Okay, that's done there. The question is, do we want to expand it? I say we expand it all the way. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we go to here? Or should we go all the way to the wall? I feel like that's good for now. Let me, let me pick up what I can. We're, we're going to see how this works out. I kind of like the idea of having the pink behind the toilet for whatever reason. They want four, four walls of that. We're going to end up doing five. I just feel like pink behind the toilet is kind of funny. So we're going to go with that. And then we're going to go with the silver glacier for the rest of the, uh, for the rest of the room. So now we're going to paint, uh, you know, paint along these walls here, paint around the windows, the whole thing. Get that there. Looks good. Yeah, this, this is going to be a pretty, a pretty fun bathroom. I like it when you add the really fun, unique colors like that, that amaracinth or whatever, like who, who puts a pink wall behind a toilet? I don't know, but it's it's cool. It it definitely like that's that's the flavor I'm looking for. I was just saying how this thing is is kind of boring. It needs a little bit of life breathed into it. We need some plants. We need some different stuff. You can't just have the stark white everywhere. You gotta have some variation. And I feel like the the pink the pink works there. So it looks like it wants two more things of the gray. I think I'm well. Can we paint underneath here? Hold on a second. That's not counting. Dang it. All right. I'm going to overrule you because I like the way this looks. Interesting bathroom. I, I like the splash of pink. I really do appreciate that. So we've got two rooms left here. We've got this and we've got this. What's this question here? How should we arrange our daughter's room? Let's create a pink kingdom. Lydia loves this color. Or let this room not only be a regular bedroom, but also a place for friend meetings. She put a white desk and some shelves for sports equipment instead of the armchair. I like that. I feel like that's a little bit more future proof. Dad's got some good ideas without a without a doubt there. Gonna be able to have this as a cool hangout spot for her and all of her friends. So we want some uh, some light colored Roman blinds, it looks like. Let's just throw the blinds on here really quickly. Go ahead and hang these guys. Looking pretty good so far. Throw the brackets up there, screw them in, set it up. All right, that's done. Now we've got some, uh, we've got some, some bedding and stuff. Now we can't, we can't go too, modern in here we got to keep in mind this is a, a little girl's bedroom so we definitely do want to make it make it work for her um i'm thinking she'd probably like kind of the the lighter so i'm thinking something like this center that underneath the window for now we might end up moving it later we're gonna have a chest of drawers i'm gonna keep it the the white the white vibe here so we're gonna set this up like uh like so it's a nice spot for that We've got a, uh, a bookshelf. Looks pretty good here. I think I'm going to go... Let's go with the, the dark instead of the, the black. Where are we going to be able to set this up? I guess we could kind of put one centered with this wall. Do we want a second one? We've got another one here. Hmm. I guess we could kind of have it like this. Or maybe back in here. I don't know. Got to see what the, the total thing is first before we commit to it. All right. Here we're going to be going for white with a dark drawer. I feel like this definitely makes more sense back in that corner. So I'm gonna move this over here. We're gonna move this guy back in here if it fits, which it does. That's looking pretty good so far. We want some sort of a chair. Yeah, desk chair, probably the white. All right, let's buy one of these, set this up like that. This is a pretty cool room so far, I like this. Couple of lamps, so I'm thinking white with the, uh, with the light gray, all right. Maybe put one on each side of the desk. I don't, are we are we doing bedside tables or anything? No, we're gonna do a plant. Maybe the pink plant just to add a little bit of flavor. All right. Couldn't place it down. How come I can't put it there? I think the leaves must be hitting the wall or something. Shoot. Yeah, leaves are hitting the wall. I feel like I might like this better here, and I'm I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat it a bit and pull it off the wall just a little bit so we could fit the plant there. I feel like it's uh it's gonna it's gonna look nice up there. There we go. All right. Something like that. Cool. So furniture is done. Now we're going to add the Azure Ellipses wallpaper. We're going to buy a couple of these. We need at least 15. So we're going to grab our tiling and paneling. And I'm thinking we do it. I think it would be cool in here. And then maybe on the opposite wall. More than they're requesting. But personally, I just, I, I feel like that's going to look, going to look really, really cool. So we've got this just like that. Go ahead and get rid of that. And now we're going to do uh, the dark mahogany floor panel to match the rest of the house. I will say these guys have definitely stayed very consistent. 
All right, is that it? I think that's, I think that's it. Cool. I actually like the look of that. I really like that we did the blue in there. I feel like that's a fun little accent wall. Let's go ahead and turn these lights on. Turn the light on up top. This is a beautiful room. I like what we've done with it. All right, final room of the home is over here. What is this gonna be? All right, we're gonna put down the, uh, I can't even sell that. Figure they were gonna wanna sell that. Nope. I'm gonna put down the same flooring that we've used for out. Set it up like that. Do the second piece here, got it done. We're gonna need a sofa, bright colored sofa. I'm thinking we, I mean, we're gonna have to do a crazy color. I kinda like the orange. I'm down for the orange. Should we do dark on the bottom? Yeah, let's do the, the, the orange with the dark. So I'm gonna set this up like this. What is this room even for? They want this and they want a cabinet. So we're gonna buy a cabinet. I can't buy a cabinet. I can't afford it. Sorry guys, I, I tried. Congrats on your sofa room. Great decisions. You guys you guys really did, did a good job with that. I feel bad that I can't buy a cabinet. I think it's probably because I bought the sun an extra monitor, but hey, that's more important than a cabinet any day. So there you guys have it. I mean, that's that's a wrap. You know, I, I feel like this bathroom turned out pretty cool. I do like this. It's bare bones, but so is the rest of the house. This room is obviously a wash. This room turned out super cool. One of my favorites. I feel like the son and daughter's rooms are the, the two best ones in here. We've got this room in here, guest room. Honestly, kind of boring, not my favorite. Out here, I do like what we did with the living room. I like what we have with the kitchen and everything. I think because we have so many lights on, it's really laggy. If I turn these off, it might get a little bit better. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty good. Again, it's just it's so wide open, it doesn't feel homey. Like, I I, I wouldn't want to live here. I, I Even the bedroom is just, it, it feels a little bit too big. But this is a cool bedroom. I think, I think this is our pride and joy. I think he's going to be able to make some dope videos in here. Bathroom looks good as well. All right. So there you guys have it. I'm feeling pretty confident. I think it's time to, uh, let's sell this place. You know, I really wish we had the ability to just keep going with our own money. You know what I mean? Like I, I would, I would love that if we could just spend our own money and hook these guys up and have like a, a surprise type deal. You know what I mean? Like when you, you do the, the, the show where they do the remodel and they surprise them and it looks all amazing and stuff. I kind of wish we could do that too. That room change, whew, that is amazing. This bathroom room change is pretty amazing as well. Oh man, gotta love it. Outside we didn't do anything because they didn't request anything but we'll take it. So there you guys have it. Another successful flip complete. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We've got a, uh, we've got another, another job coming up. We've already got it in our computer. So I'm going to see you guys in our next episode to take that one on. And, uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.